Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys 1-6 scale Spider-Man 2 figure unboxing and review. Today we're taking a look at Peter Parker in his advanced suit 2.0. Now I got mine at a discount from Pop Collectibles. As always, do your own research, make sure you are comfortable before buying. I have popped the link to their site in the description below, along with the discount code Justin's Collection for 5% off your order if you do decide to buy from them. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button so you're notified as soon as a brand new Hot Toys review goes live on the channel. As for the box art, it is very striking. We've got an image of Advanced Suit 2.0 front and center with these symbiote tendrils working their way up his arm. In the background, a bright red spotlight and this geometric grid pattern down below. I also really like the mix of finishes. It's satin for the most part, except for the Spider-Man 2 logo and the symbiote goo on the side, they're done in high gloss. It's pretty much just one continuous image of Spidey spilling over the edge on both sides. Over here we have his knee and his outstretched hand, and just so much more of that high gloss symbiote goo. It's also raised ever so slightly, it's very tactile, you can feel the symbiote tendrils. Then down below, warnings and legal information. This is some really clever attention to detail. Rather than going with a traditional white web line, they've gone with the black one because of course the symbiote has already corrupted that web shooter as it's working its way up Spidey's arm. Plus it will tie into some of the accessories that we're getting with Spidey. As you can see, he does come with some black web lines. On the open window, some symbiote down below. And I love the colors here. It's vibrant, it's almost got this rasterized rainbow effect like some TV scan lines. I think it absolutely works here. Then down below, Spider-Man 2. I reckon the artists at Hot Toys had a lot of fun designing the back of this box because there is so much going on back here. We have Peter Parker up top with this squiggle. The very colourful geometric grid in the middle, some more grid stuff down below, some comic book dots, this force perspective thing in the corner, Peter Parker and Spider-Man 2, so as many designs as possible. And then on the side of the box, a sick looking image of Spidey with this almost echo effect spider logo. Then this swirl down below. Not exactly sure what they were going for, I guess more is more? Yeah, sometimes, I suppose. I mean, they did keep it pretty subdued on the outside of the slipcover, so maybe underneath they wanted to be a touch more creative. And I don't hate it, in fact, I really like it. First, in hand impressions for the Advanced Suit 2.0, I'm already noticing differences between this version and the original. What we are going to do now, though, is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Starting off with the display base first, but before we get there, look at this spread. He comes with significantly more new stuff compared to Miles. The base itself does fit right on in with the rest of the line. It's hexagonal and relatively low profile. Up top, we do have a mix of finishes. The spider logo is glossy, the edges, which almost look like symbiote, also glossy, whereas the background, which is this gradient red, is more textured and grippy. Along the edge, they've actually mimicked the colour scheme of the Advanced Suit itself, with the blue and the white striping. Then we have Advanced Suit 2.0 printed around the front, which does look like it's at a bit of an angle, which isn't ideal. Compared to the first time round where they printed nothing, I'm glad they decided to go with a nameplate this time. I just wish we also had a crotch grabber in addition to the dynamic flight pole. There is this spring-loaded waist clamp, and it is padded, Still, if you're using this, be careful, they do tend to dig into these superhero rubbery suits over time. When this guy was announced, I was pretty curious how these spider legs were going to work. Now that I have him in hand, I do feel a little bit silly, because of course they work in the exact same way as all of the other Hot Toys Spidey figures that have come with these style legs. They literally just plug into his back. You'll see what I mean and what they look like on him a little bit later. You do get four of these, they are fully articulated on some very clicky, sturdy sounding ratchets. The sculpt work is crisp all the way along and so too are the paint applications. My favourite detail though has got to be the translucent spikes on the end. Having a pop of blue on an otherwise very shiny metallic silver spider leg, a nice touch. Don't get me wrong, I am happy we have the web wings with Peter. 
I just would have liked to have seen them with Miles as well, because he also has web wings in the game. That way you could have had them both gliding around in the display with their web wings out. Now they do just attach with magnets, you'll see what I mean when we pop them on him. Just like Miles, they've dialed back the number of lenses included. Previously we would have had a full array, ranging from fully wide open to fully squinted. Now we only have two pairs in total wider open and slightly squinted. There is this metallic sheen to the lens itself and there's this honeycomb texture on the surface. It's subtle but it's absolutely there. You can see it a lot better in person. There's also this aperture detail sculpted around the edge for where the eye would open and close. They do just attach with magnets in the same way as they have previously. Another brand new accessory is the upgraded spider drone. I was okay with the way this one looked, although it did come across a little bit crab-like. The new one, much more spider-esque, and even though we are missing the articulated legs that we had last time, I don't miss them. This guy has a dynamic flight pole, so you can have him look like he's jumping in the display. It's fully detailed all the way around, including the underside, and the colour scheme actually matches the advanced suit. If you do want to have it look like it's just walking, you can angle the flight stand forward and then have it look like it's balancing on its legs. You can remove the flight stand if you like, it's just on a ball joint, but because the back part of the spider is so heavy, it won't stand on its own. You do have to use the flight stand to get this little dude to stand up in the display. I suppose I can't really say that these web effects are new and specific to Peter because the first figure they actually came with was Miles from Spider-Man 2. This one is a spooled up web, there are some little wrapped up sections to make it look more dynamic and this little piece that's sticking out on the side. It is also slightly pliable so you can flex it if you want to. I am curious though, do you prefer white painted webs like these or the translucent plastic we were getting previously? I reckon I prefer the white webs, they just look more game slash comic book accurate. They read more like Spidey's webs to me. You also get these two longer ones, these are meant for web swinging poses. This one in particular, you can see that the peg is off at an angle. And you can see that the tips are rounded, so that just makes these a little bit easier to slot into Spidey's hands. Lastly, for the white webs, we do have this shorter one. It's more rounded for the top and a little bit more spiky down below. It does have a peg at the base of it, and that's because it pegs into his palm to make it look like it's shooting out of his web shooter. You will see what this effect looks like on Spidey. I have to say though, these black glossy webs, these are my favourite effect pieces for the set. And having the spiky tips, it worked for Miles with the white webs, having these black ones though, that just makes them look even more mean and menacing. And because these web lines are crossing over one another, it's self-supporting. This thing is sturdy as, it is not going to droop down over time. Same thing with the straight web, this thing isn't going anywhere, it is nice and sturdy. Now the symbiote effect piece, you will have to wait and see what this looks like when we slide it onto its forearm. Right now it's very organic looking, there are some pieces sticking out of it and it's made of a slightly pliable softer plastic. Lastly, we do get a full array of hands, ranging from web whipping to just some very natural relaxed looking open palm hands, wall crawling hands, closed fists that double up as web swinging hands and some style pose open palm hands as well. Now the way we attach the webs you saw just a second ago is via this panel on the palm. You can remove this and then replace it with a completely seamless one if you choose to. Just be careful with the pegs, they do feel a little bit fragile, and because the hands are more of a softer rubbery material, they really grip onto those pegs when you plug them in. The hands are completely different compared to last time. This time we've got all this extra black panel lining detail, and the red is a different colour. Not to mention of course that the way we attach the webs is different. No longer does it plug into the web shooter, now it plugs into the palm. I also really like how they've curved the fingers back on the web whipping hands, it just makes them look slightly more interesting. What we are going to do now though is get Spider-Man himself out here. Standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. It seems like this version of the advanced suit pays homage to the original while still revamping it and refreshing it in a meaningful way. It's not just a couple of colour swaps here and there. They've actually made significant changes. 
not just to the suit either, but also to the body, this guy now looks way more proportionate. They've dialed back some of the padding. They haven't made him look as big and bulky as the original one was. They've also added a bunch of new accessories, which is a plus. It almost feels like the brief to make this guy was keep it iconic, but make everything cooler. Not in the sense of, ooh, that's so cool looking. More so the color palette. Dial back the warmth on everything. Take the green out of the blue so it's much more of a royal blue and make everything look slightly more subdued. And it's worked. It's not as saturated, but it still stands out. Having the red and blue be slightly darker and different compared to the 1.0, it just helps those white spider symbols shine even more in my opinion. Up close and personal, kicking things off with Spidey's head sculpt. Initially, I thought this was the classic suit head sculpt, just painted in a different colour to match this new body. It isn't though, it might be based off that head sculpt, it is ever so slightly different. I did try and swap the lenses between the two and it just didn't work, they're not compatible. Now the web lines are raised this time round as compared to the Advanced Suit 1.0, where for some odd reason they were sunken in which was at odds with the suit that had the raised web lines. This time, they're raised, the suit is raised, it all nicely matches. And the shape is much more natural. It's rounder for the jaw and you can make out the ears better. Whereas this one, the one on the right, looked a little bit alien-like, very skinny down towards the jawline. Now, the texture match between the mask and the suit is close. It's just the sheen that throws it off. The head is very matte, this is sculpted plastic, versus the rubbery style material for the suit. It's not enough to throw it off and look terrible, I still think it works well, but I think they could have gotten closer if only they tried to match the sheen on the plastic head sculpt. Now he still retains the swap out lenses. Unfortunately though, he only has one extra set for some reason. Whereas with the original advanced suit, we had a whole bunch more lenses. They aren't compatible though, so if you are trying to swap between the 1.0 and the 2.0, it's not going to work. You can mix and match if you want to have Spidey winking. You can totally do that. Use one wide open one and the other one slightly more squinted. I've not used this head sculpt in ages, and it's a shame because this is a really solid third party head sculpt by Lim Toys. This was meant to represent Peter from the original Spider-Man game on PS4. And then for the remastered version and the Miles game onwards, they recast Peter digitally, so now he no longer looks like this. It still fits the body, it's compatible, it snaps on the neck connector and it looks great. It's just no longer accurate. Around the back, a couple of things to note. Number one, yes, there's a gap for the head sculpt and a little bit of a ledge. I would much rather that not be there at all. I understand why it's there. It's for maximum range of motion in either a web swinging or a web wing pose because you do want to tilt his head all the way back for the flight pose. There needs to be enough of a gap for his neck to slide into. And from the front, it's not really all that noticeable anyway. You can adjust it and the web lines do line up with the suit so it can look a little bit more seamless than how I had it originally. Now these pieces, I wouldn't call seamless. These little cap covers do try and blend in, they get the colour match okay, there's the texture, and you have the glossy white carbon fibre spider logo over the top so it's busy enough to try and get them to blend in. They're just really big, so it doesn't work, they're massive and they stick out like a sore thumb. The reason they're there is to cover up the peg ports for the spider legs, so we may as well give them a go. Okay, so yes, these are very unwieldy and it makes him a little bit tricky to stand without the display base because now he's quite back heavy. Still, he uses these, or technically, I should say, you use these a lot in the game, so I am considering displaying him with these in my collection. Once you plug them in, it's just a friction fit. There is enough friction to keep them in place nice and securely. You can hold him by the arms. He's not going anywhere. 
and they sit very flush to his body. There's enough play that you can articulate them, and they will stay in position. There are also ratchets at multiple different sections. You can pretty much get them to do whatever you want them to. They're painted in metallic silver. There's texture for these carbon fiber sections, some metallic blue, some spikies, which are pretty prickly, but nowhere near as prickly as the points, though. These are very, very sharp, and they're cast in translucent blue plastic. Let me know what you think. Do you think I should use these in the display? or not. And that's not even it, we still have to discuss the web wings, the symbiote effect, and the web effects, so plenty more yet to come. Let's talk about the suit and the body though. He does have some well-defined pecs and some abs, but they have toned it down compared to the Advanced Suit 1.0. That one had some very big pecs, so I'm glad they've dialed it back a little. He looks more natural this time round. He's got this slope down at the shoulders for the traps, still defined enough for me, and his biceps, you can see them poking through the suit. Now, he does have that gel style padding, so it's a little bit more squishy underneath the rubbery outer layer. There was a little bit of talk when this guy was announced, because Insomniac accidentally goofed up and showed the Advanced Suit 2.0 with white accent details around the panels, that this guy was inaccurate. Turns out that like I said, that was a goof, and they fixed it, and they went back to the black lines around the panels. Hot Toys went with gunmetal, and this, to me, just adds a nice pop of a metallic on an otherwise very colourful, but matte suit. Also, the carbon fibre white spider symbol matches the carbon fibre panels on the arms, the belt area, and the hands. It ties everything together nicely. He also has the texture for the red sections, the web lines, of course and this new detail on his belt. This suit does surprisingly look quite different to the Advanced Suit 1.0. You'll see what I mean when we do comparisons. All of this stuff, the darker blue, is new. Whereas that first time round, it was just one colour, one shade of blue. This is more three-dimensional. It helps with muscle shading and colour blocking. I much prefer the darker colour palette of this new one compared to the more orangey hue of that original. Talking about the red specifically, this is the Advanced Suit 1.0 and it's more of an orangey red compared to this new guy. They've ditched the panels down the legs, which I like, and the blue being more saturated. It all just works for me. The pecs, massive difference. This one, they stuck out more, the new one, they don't. The web wings work in the exact same way as the MCU Spidey figures. Magnets in the body, magnets in the biceps, then magnets on the web wings. They contour pretty well, there is a little bit of a gap though. I do wish they'd painted the magnets on the web wings, just to help them blend in a little. You do have some airbrush shading in the middle, and a mix of translucent and frosted plastic. There is some texture here too, and it makes them actually look like webs. Do be careful, they are a little bit prickly. The last thing you'd want to do is just snag it on the suit as you're trying to pop them in position. And because of that gap in the back of the neck, you can angle him back so it does convincingly look like he is in a web wing gliding pose. I'm glad they gave them to Peter. I'm just weirded out that they didn't give them to Miles because he also had the web wings in the game. Miles doesn't have the symbiote though, and I'm glad Peter comes with just a little bit of it to pop on his forearm. Now, it does look like it's extending over his hand, and I really like that effect. It is more rigid than I was expecting. I thought this would be more of a rubbery plastic. It's much more of a sturdy plastic, so once again, be careful. These little clamps that go around his wrist might damage the suit if you do dig them in. Also, while we're here, the web shooters, they are fully detailed. He only comes with one set though, compared to previously with the Advanced Suit 1.0, he came with multiple versions. Don't get me wrong, the new web effects are a massive improvement compared to what we had originally. We had those same web effects ever since the very first Spidey release, they just kept reusing them over and over and over again. These, way better. Except for the ones that plug into his palm. For me, I like to angle his wrist forward when he's doing a web whipping pose, and if you do because they're plugged in, the webs also angle down. I would have preferred if they'd figured out a way to pop them onto the web shooter so you could have angled the hand down and had the web going straight. 
As it stands, you do have to have the hand completely flat for this to make sense and look like it's actually coming out of the web shooter. Oh, and this is the symbiote web. If you don't want to use the symbiote one and you want to use one of the more classic white webs, it's the same exact thing. You literally just plug it into his palm and now it looks like he's shooting out one of his normal webs. Oh, Hot Toys, you all are very clever. Giving us the closed fists with the holes drilled through them so they also work for web swinging poses as well as punching poses, that's just a neat little way of them trying to save as much money as possible. No benefit to us, just a benefit to them. Now the pants, or the rest of the suit I should say, there's a lot of texture down here. There's some panel lines and multiple different shades of blue. And they've fixed the ankles. It's nice and smooth. This one has a little bit of bunching. It is nowhere near as ugly as some of the previous Spideys. You also have all of this extra detail around the side and the additional soles for the shoes. Plus they retain the toe articulation, which I love. It looks nice and seamless until you go to bend it and surprise, toe articulation. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, on the left we have Advanced Suit 2.0 and on the right Advanced Suit 1.0. So with this refresh, it seems Insomniac did want to give him a little bit of a revamp, yet still stay true to what made the advanced suit iconic at the same time. And I think they succeeded. They ditched some of the panel lines, especially on the bicep, cutting through the red section. You can see it's just one continuous piece now. The spider legs are integrated into the front panel running down the chest. The belt area is redesigned. They've ditched the panels on the outside of the thighs. And they've now integrated the web shooter, the armor on the back of his hand, and the armor on the forearm. So it does look like one seamless piece. I dig all of the changes. Hot Toys though, they could have cheaped out, they could have just used the same padding, the same body underneath, just rinse and repeat and given us a cheap version of an Advanced Suit 2.0. They didn't though, they went all out. New head sculpt, new body, new padding, better proportions and a whole bunch of new accessories. I still love the Advanced Suit 1.0, don't get me wrong, it has a place in my collection. But if I had to pick right now between these two figures standing in front of me, I'm going with the new one. To this day, I still cannot believe how many people don't own the classic suit Spidey. This to me is my grail Spidey figure. It's so close to being perfect, it's not even funny. Compared to the new advanced suit, same height, similar head shape, similar muscle padding, yet still slightly different. It's not the same as the classic suit, if that's what you're thinking. I reckon these two, they're must-haves for a PS4 Spidey display. How you started, and how it's going with the Advanced Suit 2.0. And of course when we get the black suit and whatever else comes next for this version of Peter Parker from the Insomniac games. Okay, so this is a perfect pairing. Miles in his new suit alongside Peter in his new suit. Miles is ever so slightly shorter though. I have 100% completed the game, literally to 100% completion, and there was a joke that Miles said or a quip where he was like, hey, I'm at least an inch taller than the other guy. So I'm not sure if this is accurate or if Miles was just joking or being silly. Either way, I thought that Miles was at the very least the same height as Peter or even ever so slightly taller. Then again, this version of Miles from the standalone Spider-Man Miles Morales game is even shorter than that new one. I did see some people saying that they were skipping the new Miles because it's too similar to this version, which I still don't think is a thing. And then they were going to get the Advanced Suit 2.0 anyway. I don't necessarily think the scaling works as well here. It's doable, especially in a dynamic pose. Just standing there though, Miles is a touch too short for me next to this version of Peter. Going over articulation, I am expecting some improvements over the original. Starting off with the head sculpt, it's on a double ball peg and an articulated neck. The joint down below is pretty stiff on my copy, so with yours, just exercise a little bit of caution. Looking forward to there, looking up to there, swivel and pivot side to side. The arms on ratchets will go up to there going forward and back, butterfly joint at the shoulder that hinges up and down. I particularly like how flush the arms can go down by his sides. Swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow going past 90, and then the wrist peg is a ratcheted hinge and swivel. Speaking of ratchets, the torso is articulated on two separate ratchet joints going forward to there, 
going back to there, swivel and pivot side to side. The legs will go forward to there, also on ratchets, going out to there on even clickier ones, swivel at the upper thigh, double bend at the knee going past 90, and lastly the ankles. Double ball pegs, good for forward and back, swivel and pivot. Plus, toe articulation. Moving on to the three cool and three annoying things. The first annoying thing, while I don't absolutely hate this, they're not quite perfect now, are they? It's the cap covers around the back meant to hide the holes that the spider legs plug into. I get what they were going for, they're just a little bit too large for me personally. Especially these ones down below having this kick out at the bottom, I just think it was unnecessary. They could have tightened these up, made them slightly smaller, and then I don't think they would have been as obvious as they are. The second annoying thing is what happened to all of Spidey's lenses. With the classic suit and with the advanced suit 1.0, we had a bunch more lenses so we could mix and match and create all kinds of different expressions. Whereas with this new one, we only get two sets. The third annoying thing is the solid sculpted plastic web wings don't quite contour perfectly to the shape of the body. They're close. There are some gaps though. I would have preferred if they'd gone with the fabric style material web wings like what they used with the quarter scale Spidey. The first cool thing is I didn't realize how bulbous the eyes were on the advanced suit 1.0. With the new one, they flatten them out. They look a little bit more natural compared to the really big bug eye look of the original. The second cool thing is all of the new effect pieces. You get this symbiote transition effect, symbiote webs, and normal webs. The best part for me though about these new web effects is you can go ahead and take them and use them on the spideys already in your collection, just to spruce them up a little. The third cool thing, and this is a bit of a weird one granted, but... If you wanted to take some of the other Spidey legs that we've had with previous releases, such as the MCU Iron Spider or even the Iron Spider from the PS4 game, the ports, they're all the same size. It's compatible, so you can then go ahead and use these Spider legs on the Advanced Suit 2.0. You're not stuck with having to go with the massive ones that he comes with. Wrapping up on the Advanced Suit 2.0. If you're only going to pick up one figure from Spider-Man 2, let it be this guy. He's got the web wings, he's got the arms, he's got the new web effects, he's got the symbiote pieces, and he's got a new body, and a new colour scheme, and he looks like a properly new figure. I get the complaints with Miles, he comes with less stuff, and he looks very, very similar to the first version. This guy, he doesn't have any of those issues, he even has a brand new body with much better proportions. The only issue is, why is this guy limited? That's the question. Only 300 units in Hong Kong, that is insane. This is the main core suit from the game, Hot Toys, it's on the freaking cover of the darn thing. You'd think that this guy would be the most unlimited possible, they would take as many orders as they could. But I think Hot Toys were worried. They were sitting there thinking, oh no, this is very similar to the first version. Even though we're putting in all this stuff, I don't think people are going to buy this guy. Well, unfortunately, it turns out that people do want him and now they can't get him. So it's a catch-22. Yes, they've sold out. Yes, he was available really quickly after the game was released and this guy was announced. But not everyone was able to get him. That's just the name of the game when it comes to limited stuff. I was hoping that another suit would be limited and the core suits would just be available. It turns out they decided not to do that. If you wanted one, I hope you were able to snag one because this guy is a really solid looking figure. Now I got mine at a discount from Pop Collectibles. As always, do your own research, make sure you are comfortable before buying. I have popped the link to their site in the description below, along with the discount code Justin's Collection for 5% off your order if you do decide to buy from them. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button. If you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment and subscribe, we'll catch you in the next video.